Assalamualaikum. Today we're going to discuss the Hypertext Transfer Protocol or HTTP, and we're going to first start with the describing what the protocol is, and it is basically the protocol which is used in uh, communication between client and web server for accessing websites, and uh, basically uh, it is a two-way protocol. First, uh, a client sends a mess uh, request message to the web server, and the web server replies with the response appropriate response and this is uh, a syntax of the message request and response and this we'll discuss later on in this uh, presentation and we see a sample uh, of how this is done we enter the url into the website web server and we see that actually when we get the site at the front end but the back end this whole lot of information is being transferred as the uh, message of to either end of the client and the server and so moving on we go to the network analyzer and we basically uh, do is that we uh, type in uh, google.com on our web server and uh, we could analyze the actual exchange of packets that is going on in our uh, computer we are using the wireshark network analyzer and we see here that this is the term of interested in google.com and uh, the uh, we go into the detail of this uh, particular term and we see that it's uh, type of the message that we discussed earlier in our example with the get type of header and uh, we also uh, go into the detail of these um, you could say a lot of information about this is given and this is uh, like the information that is actually being transferred is given on the bottom with the hexadecimal codes and uh, moving forward we see that the res uh, re response is given in this uh, part of the term from the google server and we see the 200 status code which signifies that the code is okay and the response accepted and the uh, request is being proceeded with and this is uh, basically some other information about the code uh, request that is not that this we could see here in the data that we could uh, google.com is mentioned we could uh, confirm that it is actually from google so we uh, come to the web server part of the presentation basically we discuss in this video what a web server is uh, uh, how to install and configure a web server on our computer so we uh, start the video assalamualaikum we are here to install and configure Apache server. We will follow some basic, basic series of steps to configure and install Apache server. Uh, I open the exe file and click next and then accept my agreement and then click next. Follow the steps and click next. Here I write network domain, server name and administrator's email address. Network domain is localhost, server name as localhost and administrator email address as admin at localhost and then click next. I choose uh, setup type as typical and then click next and this uh, the directory where it is, inst is to be installed and then again click next now the Apache server is being installed here now we have to wait and now it is installed now I click finish to check that whether the Apache server is correctly installed I go to my browser and uh, write localhost here and as you can see that it works and now I go to my computer <coughs> and then in directory <coughs> C in directory C, I uh, open a new folder, I make a new folder with the name of Apache and then in the, this folder I make a new text file with the name of a uh, new text document and write here what you want, what I want you to see in my web page. I write here assignment.2 assignment I save it as an index.html file and here you can see that it is, it is being saved I again copy the location here from uh, this uh, my folder and then go to my program uh, go to program files where the Apache was being installed. Here the Apache Software Foundation, I installed it here. And open Apache 2.2 in configuration file. I open it and open this file. Run it as administrator. And then a notepad is opened. I again paste the uh, copied file here in the document root. Similarly, I paste in the directory root the copied file. As you can see it is pasted. Now I again save it and after saving it I open the Apache uh, Apache monitor and then restart it and after restarting it I uh, press I look here at the and write local host in my browser that if it is working. I then change the port number from 80 to 8081 to see if it is wor it works. With port 80 writing local host it doesn't work and with port 881 it works. Now I open a new folder, I make a new folder content and link it to index.html and place two images here. Now you can see the directory is being increased to, if you click image 1, the directory is again increased and we move to image 1. And if you 
click image 2 the directory is increased and we move to image 2 this shows that the, we are creating further directories in our uh, uh, web page server now you, as you can see that it is being installed and working correctly so thank you so moving on we go to the last part of our presentation which is basically uh, doing the things that we do with the web, with the web, uh, web browser we do with the actual uh, command from using the telnet uh, command and we start uh, we see the some of the commands that we enter in the telnet prompt and uh, we see the response we get first of all we start with the get command basically we expect that the header should be there and there should be message should be there which is the actual format and we see that uh, status code is okay and some other information which is given over here related to the information uh, header and this is the actually the body of the text uh, that it does work which we entered into our site which is displayed here the message actually and we if we don't want the message for a certain case we could use the head uh, command we could see that the header uh, is only included and the actual body of the text is missing so we could use if the um, body of text is too long and we only want the header so we can also include some other advanced information like uh, we if we if we modified since header which uh, means that if we add a certain date in or time into the uh, if modified since so if uh, the file has not been modified since that particular time so it will not be displayed and says that error 304 not modified so this means that the request was not proceeded with and the connection was lost and basically uh, we all can also specify the message size and header like in this case we specify the 100 to 900 byte number and we could see that if the message uh, size of the message is actually 11,686 bytes, but we want only 100 to 1,000 bytes. So it says over here that only partial content is received, and which is equal to 901 bytes. And uh, basically, uh, we could also do some other types of uh, file, uh, like uh, like uh, uh, we could uh, specify the uh, type of the file uh, in the uh, header. To uh, if the file of type is different, we could not be able to access that. So basically with, that, with, with this we come to the end of our presentation and with these are some of the references over here and this is, is the credit slide and thank you very much.